Industrial paper sacks are efficient packaging solutions for dry bulk goods. They can withstand transportation, handling and also shocks. But what makes paper sacks so strong? How do they become so tear resistant? The quality and consistency of the sack paper used has a major bearing on the tear resistance. Sack paper is made from coniferous fibres. The longer the fibres, the more tear resistant the paper. As such, fresh, unbeaten fibres are processed in a way that allows them to bond well with one another during paper production, which further increases the tear resistance. The naturally rounded fibres are roughened and pressed flat, producing a wider surface with fine fibrils. This arrangement of the fibres in machine direction and cross direction creates a strong network of fibre bonding. Strength and elasticity equally contribute to the tear resistance of the sack paper. The tear resistance of paper can be scientifically measured using test equipment. This involves stretching the paper and determining the energy load it can withstand before it tears. This is known as tensile energy absorption or TEA for short. Unlike newspaper or writing paper, this value is very high for packaging paper. If the TEA values of two piles of paper are transferred to a normal 25 kg sack, it produces a TEA figure of between 320 and 430 joules. This is similar to the energy needed to lift more than two crates filled with glass bottles. Particularly tear-resistant paper sacks have a TA value of up to 600 joules, allowing them to withstand hard shocks and drops from a height of more than 2 meters. In short, the paper's TEA value determines its tear resistance. A sack made of two piles of virgin fibre craft paper, for example, can withstand just as much or even more than a three-ply sack made of recycled paper. What's more, if the GSM value of tear-resistant paper with a high TEA value is reduced, the tear resistance remains relatively high. This is an interesting aspect in terms of minimising material use against the background of sustainability. Other factors such as paper coatings or design-related elements, such as special glues or overlapping patches, also contribute to the tear resistance. Choosing the right paper and the right design ensures that the strength of the sack precisely meets a customer's needs. This saves money and protects the environment.